In today's video, how to speed up weight loss in your 30s and 40s. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. And listen guys, I'm a 47 year old lifetime natural athlete and I have mastered the art of losing body fat, adding muscle for my physique and my frame. And this is what I do for my clients. So I wanna help you guys reach your goals. So today's question comes from right here on my Instagram direct message. It's a great question. So what I'd like to do is read it to you so we can understand the point and then I'm gonna to explain to you how to reach your fat loss goal. Can you please share your experience with people trying to lose body fat in their 30s and 40s? I'm 40 now and every time I wanna lose a bit, it takes three to four weeks from a weight to start moving. Water weight comes down, but then nothing will happen for weeks. Is there anything I can do to speed it up apart from training and being on a clean, high protein, 100 gram carb diet? I'm 40 and 57 kilos at the moment. My goal weight is around 51 to 52 kilos. I put on weight while training for my latest half marathon. Thank you much. If you read this and give me some tips. Yes. So I think the thing that stuck out most to me was that you were training for a half marathon, which I believe is a 13 mile run. That should elicit a pretty good response for fat loss unless there are a few key factors happen. Now, you mentioned to me the struggle with the diet. And while I totally get that, you certainly should not be restricting carbohydrates when you're doing marathon training. What I'm curious about is what you do besides marathon training, okay? If you're adding body fat at any point in your life, it means your lifestyle has changed to the point where you are now in a caloric surplus. And it doesn't mean you're in a caloric surplus every day. I hear this all the time, but coach, I'm only eating 1200 calories a day. Yes, you're doing that five days of the week, but on Saturday and Sunday, you're eating 6,000 calories, right? That's all it takes. Those short, really big bursts of food can cause you to store body fat. And then you go back to your normal lower calorie approach and you're not gonna lose it, you're just gonna maintain it. Why? Because your overall lifestyle is a caloric surplus, okay? Now, with the marathon training, that's an interesting thing because I would suspect that you're doing a lot of running on a daily basis. However, if you're supplanting what you were doing previously to go for runs and it leaves you exhausted, well, perhaps you're in a position where you're actually not losing body fat, even with all that running. Again, you guys, I stress this quite a bit. I know running is thought of as a fat loss tool. I do not think of it as a fat loss tool, okay? I think of running as a great ability to help you have better endurance for sports. However, I only walk to lose body fat. That's it, I don't do any running. First of all, I'm over 200 pounds and I don't like the pounding it would take on my joints. Second of all, I'm not focused on my endurance. I'm focused on lean body mass. Okay, I'm focused on shape, I'm focused on my physique. Running is the opposite of that, okay? It has an interference effect on your ability to add muscle. Walking does not. And if you're trying to lose more body fat and you're not doing things like taking accountability for your daily calories, you're not taking accountability for your daily activity, this is where the problem lies. And when people say to me that they have problems in their 30 and 40s, I want you guys to think back, back to a time when you were younger. What did we do in high school? We got up, we went to school, we walked from class to class, we walked to lunch. I even rode my bike to and from school some days. Then when I got home, what did I do? I went to my buddy's house and we played basketball. Then what did we do? We ate and we went out and did some other sports. I never stopped moving in high school. And once you get away from that, this is where we can claim that the metabolism has adapted. Guys, your metabolism does not change, okay? Your body's ability to burn calories does not change. What changes is you is me, is us. When life and responsibilities take over, we move less and now we can afford to eat whatever the hell we want and we eat more delicious foods, okay? That are more calorically dense. I promise you, if you strip it down to the bare essentials, okay? I just got a really cool delivery from Icon Meals. My buddy Todd over at Icon hooked me up because it's been getting tough for me to prep food. Guys, I don't just do fitness for a living, okay? I got kids to raise, I got a business to run, I got clients, I'm at a show almost every weekend. Sometimes, as much as I would like to say, I always have time to prep food, I don't. So if you have problems with meal prep, what typically happens? You just go out to lunch with your friends. Maybe you're at work and you didn't bring anything, so you just go to get a sub or you go out to lunch with what everyone else is doing. And it's gonna be hard sometimes in a public setting with a group of people to eat healthy. As weird as it is, it looks weird if you just get something with protein or you don't get the french fries and you swap it out for fruit and people say, oh, are you trying to be healthy? The psychology of weight loss can be difficult because there can be peer pressure to enjoy food. Why? Usually because the people you're with, 
they feel like you're a mirror reflecting back on them and they realize they're making shitty choices and they feel bad about their choices. So they want to drag you down with them. Whatever the reason may be, boil it down to its simple thing. Do you need to eat a high protein diet and low carbs? Listen, protein does help. It helps with muscle. It helps with satiety and it doesn't convert to body fat. So it is a great way to eat. But I would just suggest you set your protein to your target goal weight. And if you don't even know where to set your calories and your macros based on your current goals, look right here. Guys, I have a free nutrition calculator. It's going to give you your nutrition based on your goal to build muscle, to lose fat, for rapid fat loss. The idea here is that we take accountability into action and we make our bodies something that we can control, okay? The real issue that you're having is an overall identity of being fit, okay? You want to lose, what was it, five kilos? That's about 10, 11 pounds. That should take you six to eight, maybe 10 weeks. You should be losing half a kilo to a kilo a week, guys. But you can't do it without accountability. And I can't give you more specific information because I really don't know where your calories are at. I don't know where your steps are at. I'm a little confused by you running a marathon, a half marathon and gaining weight. But I just assume that that means that during that time, you were probably doing what most people do and research shows this, you overcompensate for the exercise that you're performing. You think, wow, I went out and ran six miles today. I can eat whatever the hell I want. Well, I can assure you, you get more efficient at running over time and your body can certainly store body fat, even if you're running six miles a day, if you're not paying attention. If you pay attention to nutrition, you can improve your body composition, you can improve your performance, and you can look like this at 47 years old. And guys, I'm trying to get even leaner. I'm on my way to spending 30 days to getting as shredded as possible. I'm two weeks in, I'm growing the beard to the whole thing. So you'll be able to see what it looks like, but uh, I'm kind of excited for that challenge. So if you guys want more specific information, if you need more specific help, be sure to give me more information in the direct message. But young lady, start tracking your daily activity, start tracking your daily calories, more specifically your macros around your goals. And let's work on getting lean and reaching your goal. Talk to you guys tomorrow.